COVID-19 has taught us there has never been a more important time to invest in and have access to new innovative vaccines and medicines in Ontario. I am proud of the work that our government, led by the Premier, has done to support innovation, research and manufacturing of life-saving and life-altering treatments. A strong domestic life sciences sector is so important, and my community of Mississauga Streetsville is concerned about the changes the federal government will be introducing this July through the Patented Medicines Pricing Review Board, or PMPRB, which will put Canadians and Ontarians' access to new medicines and vaccines at risk. Our government is committed to ensuring that Ontarians continue to have access to the life-saving medicines they deserve and need. As such, since last year, we have written to the federal government asking them to consult further with stakeholders and to conduct further analysis and assess impacts to pharmaceutical investments, including clinical trials, manufacturing and access to new medicines. Yesterday, the Minister of Health and Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade wrote again to the federal government, urgently calling for these measures slated to be introduced on July 1st to be paused while we consult and assess the impacts of their changes. Many stakeholders have expressed concerns with the proposed pricing guidelines and impacts to this sector, including drug launch delays, decreased research and development, less investment, or decisions not to launch certain products right here in Canada. We're requesting the federal government acknowledge these concerns, and we need to make sure that all Canadians have the drug plans and on excessive prices while incentivizing an introduction of new and improved products. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.